We're here at Bethel's uh, recording their new album here in Redding, California with two rhythm tracks. And I wanted to walk you through a few features on this track system. This specific one is actually using a Movi. They're shooting everything on Reds. Um, uh, different systems, different configurations, but this rhythm track is set up for full automation and manual control. So the operator takes one operator using his feet to do manual control or full automation of the sled itself. We have a riser that's digitally controlled from the console. They can go up to put the lens right about seven feet high. Um, we also have power integration built right into the sled. So it uses two 48 volt batteries to power the system. And then that power basically converts, uh, we have 14 volt output, 48 volt output and 24 volt output. All of that can go directly to power different um, accessories, wireless, you can also run the system wired. Um, the system itself, the rhythm track is ran completely wireless, but it's all IP based as well. So if you wanna run it through fiber, run it through your in-house network, or, or just keep it wireless, you've got that option. But the pedestal stool is amazing because you can get the lens height really where you want it. So when you're filming in a room that's full of people, you, the operator can just adjust the lens height perfectly to get that shot they wanna get. Um, and I think that's, you know, in a, in a room like this, having something that's really small and compact, it doesn't take up a lot of floor space, that's really safe to operate, but really easy for the operator is kind of key because it just lowers the stress level for everybody on production, but it increases your value by uh, keeping everybody comfortable and getting the shots just where you want them. Let me take it over to controls. I want to show you this real quick. It's a really unique feature, I think, that makes this system very easy is that when you turn the system on, it instantly boots up and it powers everything. So you literally push a button on the batteries that turns the system on itself. Then your pulse controller comes on, which actually programs the sled. And then I've got, obviously, my uh, head controller here. Now, I have the choice of using foot pedals. So I can use uh, the Defy uh, foot pedals um, to, to control my left and right or I have automation. So sometimes if I'm shooting and I, I don't want leg fatigue or I, I want to make this sick, I can go down into um, automation mode. I can put this in boomerang, we call it repeater, and I can just literally turn that boomerang on. And so as I dial my speed up, the system's automatically moving. And so what that allows me to do is if I'm shooting something that where I don't really, I just need to keep the system moving at all times, it's going to go down to my furthest endpoint it'll smooth to a stop and then reverse that shot. So then I can focus really on just nabbing shots all day. So it's super nice. And at any point I wanna take full control over it, I can either push the pedals and slow it down or I can simply just turn the system back to manual mode with one button push and now I'm back to full manual control. It's another, I think, really unique feature uh, about the system itself is not only the automation but the safety that's in it. Um, so I can set digital endpoints to my left and to my right but I also have a second tier of safety, which is a spring sensor and a LiDAR sensor. So the system automatically will drive into a spring that triggers a sensor, which sets an end stop. So sometimes if I, don't, if I don't know exactly where I want to stop, I can run all the way to the end. I don't have to guess. It actually sets the end stop for me. And then I have a physical stop at the end of the track, which obviously I don't want to use. Um, it's there for a third redundant safety feature. So I have digital stops anywhere in the, in the track. I have spring stops, which uh, are at the end of the track, and then I have physical stops, which are at the very end of the track. Um, and, and that safety redundancy, I think, just makes the operator have really good peace of mind, focus on the shots, and um, you, you stay focused on production. In this room specifically, um, we're actually running two systems. We have one in the floor here that's running side of stage, and then we have one up in the balcony that's running 60 feet uh, up in the balcony as well. So that's a fixed riser running a Newton head with a red 17 to 120. And down here, obviously, we're on the digital riser with a red 18 to 80. So great setup, shots look amazing. And uh, it's just been fun being able to see the operators jump on this for the first time, learn the systems, and just nabbing shots that look fantastic. So super excited about the setup.